Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we will be making a script for a tycoon game. This should work for basically all tycoons but I'm going to make it for some tycoon called Ninja Tycoon, I think it's like V8. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Yeah, I can just check this first. V3.8. That's the game. I could leave it in the description. Otherwise, just search for Ninja Tycoon. And yeah, basically what we're going to go over is firing a click detector. Which allows us to auto-click this. And these, this Tycoon barely has a... What's it called? Cooldown for the clicking. And yeah, I'm going to be using scriptware, because, I don't know, I, it feels more stable, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like the UI, though. Yeah, there, let's try the decks. There, perfect. Okay. So, I would pr probably turn on click port to select. Would click this one time then we will see it that it's called click here and yeah so now let's go turn this off so yeah we have to find some way to get which uh, tycoon name the play has so yeah let's just try to code that so let's do like function get tycoon uh, like local tycoon equals nil turn tycoon so then we could do like check if it's nil if it didn't find it but otherwise we want to loop through all of these copy path because you can see that it has a owner so we can check if the owner is the player and if it is then we return it no actually we could do this return nil for I comma V in pairs. This just loops through all the tycoons. Perfect. Um, so yeah, that will loop through all the, them. Then we have to do if V dot owner value. So if it's me, this is a object value. So it's not gonna be my name. It's gonna be my actual character. there and then we do then return me v instead so then we would do like local tycoon equals get tycoon if tycoon is nil done then we will wait for the player to get a tycoon we do like Probably that. Oh yeah, I can't do that in here either. I have to do these, but I can't. It's nil. So yeah, this function just gets the tycoon. It loops through of all of them. And if it finds one which you own, then it returns it. Otherwise, it returns nil. Then we have to check if it actually returned nil or it returned the actual tycoon. If it didn't return a tycoon, if you actually haven't claimed one, then we will wait for the player to claim one right here. Otherwise, we will do while true do and uh, yeah, purchase purchased object tycoon dot. Oh, I don't. Yeah, there. Mind dot clicker and then. Oh yeah, click detector. Uh, let's do fire click detector. You will probably need synapse or some other powerful exploit for this. I don't think it would work for like some kernel too, if I'm not forgotten. Um,
Hmm. That's actually quite weird. Print yes. Or is it not even executing? Yeah, let me just change to Synapse, I guess. I'm not sure if it works though, like if Synapse is updated. But yeah, this should technically work. I actually don't know if it's fire click detector in scriptware. But yeah, I don't really like this one because you don't. S yeah, I probably can't have synapse sense and, and scriptware injected. Yeah, there. Let's just try. Bro, what are you even doing? Yeah, right now we can try that. Take it. Where line thirteen? Oh no! Repeat, bro. That's really. Yeah, I can probably keep on using this. Yeah, it's just that they don't show errors. I think they do it like somewhere else. Yeah, they do it here. I think. Yeah, I have to reinject, but yeah, that's kind of moving. I just want to use Scooper because you see it a lot better. Yeah, repeat until not return until. Mm, okay. Okay, so right now it shouldn't be doing anything. Nope. But when I claim this should probably error actually yeah i didn't think about that let's try to redo that i probably spelled it wrong two bonds Just copy the name of this. Yeah, actually, it did spell it wrong. But yeah, that works. But yeah, I have something else to fix. Because now, if we would take this money, money, and buy this. Oh, yeah, this already auto drops. Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, yeah, but that actually works. It's quite OP, as you can see should work for basically all tycoons you obviously have to change it a bit but it shouldn't be that hard why you do this instead of firing a remote is because these don't use remotes these use server-sided scripts which mean that they don't really use the remotes because that would just be dumb because they would have to fire from the server to the client and then from the client to the server so yeah this just goes straight from the server to the server, which means we can't pick it up with remotes. But yeah, that's basically everything for me today. In next tutorial, I will probably be covering how to use decks and or how to use how to make the same thing, but for simulators, basically, so how to click GUI buttons. This is actually a bit harder because there's no real function for it there is but it's not really made for it but yeah bye guys